Pennsylvania. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebalski. Pittsburgh's playing their second game in as many nights. How do you approach this one, Ray? Well, you try to conserve as much energy as you can. The problem is, if you're so busy conserving energy, a lot of times you don't reach the level of desperation of your opponent. You got to go at it. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Right in front, big save. Sends a pass over. Duchesne swooping in on the attack. Makes his presence known on the ice. Nice feed from the goaltender. They've got numbers. Sends it over. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. Zucker's got it along the boards. From the point, way off target. He's got to get this puck on the net. He's got all kinds of time to shoot it, but he fires it over top. Just put it on the net. Puck picked up by Duchesne and makes the save. Puck grabbed by Zucker. The Predators gain control of it. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Slides the puck across to Malkin. Malkin's got it into offensive territory. Quick feed to Zucker. Stick save from the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Rusts won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. He scores! What a goal! Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows him to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Here's a rocket of a shot. It's in. He scores. Hey, you just stop thinking about the first goal. Now you got another. That's 30 seconds apart. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Oh, this puck beats them cleanly. We were talking to the coaches before the game. They mentioned they wanted to get as much traffic as possible in front of the goaltender, make it difficult for him to find the puck. More than half the period left to play. Pittsburgh's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Johansson's one possession. His 10th of the season. And he slides it quickly to Johansson. Let's it go. And that banks off a stick. Pittsburgh's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Oh, reads it perfectly. Here's the chance. Can't get it to go. Carries it across the line. Passes right to the front. That's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for him. I think the goaltender's got to do a better job. There's only one player in front of him. He's got to look around and find the, where the puck is. He never picks it up until it's past him. The Penguins have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Turris. Here's a shot. That's turned aside from the blocker. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Works it across to McCann. Here's an odd man rush. And now it's grabbed by Johnson. Comes up on the blocker save. Hammers a shot. Nashville's grabbed a hold of the puck. Moves it to Granlin. 
uses the force on that hit. Scooped up along the wall by Ricola. Over the line they come. And that's broken. Scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals. They dominated this play. I think he goes down a little quick here, James. Drops into the butterfly. Thinks he's got it covered, but gets beat top bins on the stick side. Pittsburgh's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Pukestad's won it. Moves it over to Aston Reese. Along the half wall with the puck. Steps into it. Too much congestion in front. Pedersen's got it on the offensive end. Fires it. Oh, he stumped that one. That was a fireball. Pittsburgh's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. Duchesne's won the faceoff. Into the offensive end now. Let's it go. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Big stop by the keeper. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. I didn't like that play at all, James. That's got to go back behind the net where it's safer. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Past the halfway mark of this period. Pittsburgh's now up by four. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Centered out in front, and that one's broken up. Quick pass to Johansson. Good hit on the play. Pumps the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Yarncro. Wrist shot from the slot. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. And now it's over to Shiri. And loses possession after a solid hit. Nashville's got the puck along the boards. Sends it over to Johansson. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it across. From point blank. Turns it away. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. On the attack along the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Penguins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Nashville's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a chance. Lays into the body on the play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Tumulant's going off for interference. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lumping. Nashville's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. There are rock stars, and then there's next level to that. And our guest coming up in period number two defines it. Snoop Dogg coming up here on EA Sports. Your team wins. You win $10 off at Bob's. Bring the nice tickets to any local Bob's sporting goods for a coupon that's good for $10 off. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. on here in the second period and what a treat to be joined here in the broadcast booth by the dog father himself snoop dog is here tonight in nhl it, baby oh man let's go what a pleasure man the you? pleasure's all mine baby all right if you're an in-game presenter you're in charge of presenting a hockey game tonight for the crowd how do you present it how does trying to gain a step he's clear oh in front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. 
Snoop Dogg's with it. All right, you're the party planner for a hockey game. How do you present? At the end of every quarter, it's got to be a party session. Five, ten minute party session. Dancing, good music, celebrating, and then get back to the game. Party? Why not? Ain't no party like a Snoop Dogg party, because a Snoop Dogg party don't stop. And that one stopped. Slides the puck to Forsberg. Moves it around along the half wall. Taken by Aston Reese. Carries it in. Here's a blast! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Breakaway. No! The goalie stopped it! No! Great save on the play! Woo! And now he tries to get it across to Ellis. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Duchesne. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Oh, yeah. Oh, Way to use your stick to save. stop it, man. Good job. See, I like that, man. Use the stick to stop it, goalie. It works. The Predators have the puck now. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. The Predators fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Well, I can't do much more than that, James. That was a pretty terrific power play. Lock. Here he is. One against the goalie. Oh, he misses the net. Come on, man. He's slowly working his way to the bench. Somebody's got to get the door open for him. He's going to need some help. A howitzer. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. Bumped off the puck. Takes the puck along the boards. With possession along the wall. Booming shot. And he comes up with a big time save on that. And the puck leaves the zone. You always seem to break social media or the internet, for that matter, when you're involved in hockey. Are you surprised at the reaction you get around the game? No, not really, because, you know, hockey's a sport that people really want to know about. And, you know, Snoop Dogg was the perfect guy to teach it to you. So when I get involved, they want to know more about it. Duchesne's still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Hey, when the Kings went to the silver and black look in the late 80s, you are a kid at the time, but did that add a little more street cred to the hockey team locally? It really did. It put them right in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Because now we can start to rock those Kings jerseys and King hats because of... Score! Meet me at the bank. Meet me at the bank. What you going to the bank for? Because I got another goal. It's payday on that. Yeah, it is. Money. Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. And it looks like the hockey equivalent of going to the bullpen's happening here as they're going to change goaltenders. That'll do it for him, mercifully. This has been a long night. Snoop, as you were just saying, hockey, hip-hop. Has there been any sort of impact with the jerseys? Definitely. From the days of N.W.A. to the days of Snoop Dogg, hockey has always been hip-hop. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the one and only Snoop Dogg. I don't know if you got to get going, but do you want to watch the rest of the period up here with us? If I can order us a couple of drinks, I'd love to stay up here with you. I will not discriminate against Hey, bring them drinks up here. I'm going to be up here for a minute. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Pittsburgh's putting on one of their most impressive offensive displays we've seen in a while. Picked up along the wall by Dumoulin. Now a quick pass to Sheary. Puck scooped up by Sissons. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Puck picked up by Sissons. That's a solid check on the play. And makes the save. Dead center, excellent save. He's got two goals already. If he can find a way to get a third, he's going to end up with a selection of hats in his stall after the game. I've had those. You look at the hats. Some of them are great. Others look like they've been worn for about 15 years. They're gross. Pittsburgh's relentless physical play has helped them get the lead in this game. Torres quick on the draw. Too many bodies in the way. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Gains control the puck here at the line. Comes up with the stop. He's working hard to find this puck. There's all kinds of traffic in front of him, and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. Turris wins the draw on their own end. 
Granlin's got the puck along the wing. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Denies him on the stopper. Loose puck battle along the boards. And now he angles it across to Pedersen. With the puck under siege. Can he get out of the zone here? He got all of that hit. Benino's got it along the wing. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. And the always popular icing call made. And you know what that means, Ray? Now, offensive zone faceoff, man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. A quick look at the scoreboard. It's too much to not enough. Five zip. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Renee's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. McCann's won the draw. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Pass right in front! Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. And now he moves it to Johnson. Oh, what a stop! Whistle blown as the puck is directed out into the crowd and a souvenir for some lucky fan tonight. Here in the late going of the frame, we are in blowout territory right now. It's 5 0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Arvidsson's picking up steam. Here they come, three of them. Oh, one on one. Oh, back in the net. Give me mine. What a move, baby. Were you expecting this when you got up here? No way, no how. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Nashville's got one here in the second. They need many more to follow, though. Yeah, but they've got to start somewhere. I guess something positive, something to build on, but... It's been a pretty rotten game for them so far. Ricola's got it in the offensive zone. Puck grab by Forsberg. Feeds it over to Forsberg. They've got numbers. And that slides right out to center ice. Rips it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Harvinson's going to play it against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Hornquist. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. Yeah, nothing too smooth about that play. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. In the second period. And now it's grabbed by Ellis. Taken by Rust. Oh! Absolutely owns the crease tonight. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that one's turned away. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. He is the D-O-double-G, the dog father himself, Snoop Dogg, and we thank him so much for his time here on NHL 20. Third period is coming up in moments. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now at this year's locations and prices. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Stop by section 144. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. 
It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray with two periods in the books. What do you? He's got a step. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short little breakaway. He makes no mistake. Well, that slick hands. Once he is away from the pack, he's able to slow down, take the move he wants, and he finishes it beautifully. Nashville's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals, and you need lots of them. Attack. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Centering pass. He got all of that one. And the play's finally whistled dead by the officials who contend to the injured player. Schultz looked pretty banged up after he was on the receiving end of this huge hit. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Nashville's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Puck scooped up by Ellis. Ellis setting up against the wall. Slides the puck over. Mulkins carrying it ahead. Puts it to the front of the net, and that's picked off. And we've got a two-on-one. And he misses. Isn't that just a confidence thing? Confidence are trying to be too perfect. Get it on the net. That's the number one goal. Winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Sherry's got it across the line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Blast from the blue line. Big time stop. Protects the puck around all sorts of danger. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Denied by the goaltender. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Interference the call. Can you argue this one? Well, you can argue anything, James, but if that's fair, that's an interference penalty. Another scoring opportunity looms here. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away, not let it affect the current power play. 41 seconds. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Through center along the wing. And he gets the puck right back. Centering pass! Stick save! Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Came up with a big stop on that last opportunity. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. He's got a stride on the defender! That goes off a twig. Comes out to play the puck. Quick pass across to Eckholm. Now he slides it up to Yarncroft. The Penguins have possession shorthanded. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Well, that probably would work a little better if the stick stayed in one piece. No luck in that stick. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, man. Yeah, that wasn't very good. It looked like he was going to deke, and then he was going to shoot, and then he didn't either. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Still lots of time left here in this frame. No shortage of offense, most of it from one end. It's 5-2. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Aston Reese plays the puck. Handles the puck. Oh, comes up with a stop. Here's a blast. There's another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Quick feed to Duchesne. Stopped by the goaltender. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Dumoulin's penalty has expired. Well, the two minutes slides by pretty efficiently. I like their penalty kill group mainly because they were so aggressive. And as a result, they actually ended up with a lot of shots on net. Nashville's got possession here in the neutral zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. 
takes it across the blue line, slides it across, and that's a paddling from the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Penguins are going to have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Weber's got it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Turris. Glove save. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Another stop by the goaltender. Incredible goaltending. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two goal leads the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh no, yeah, somebody's going to say it guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play, take some chances, get up the ice. You've got to get another one. Still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. By number 64. Lowers the boom. Rips it from the blue line. Standing tall with the save. Well, there's room on the visitor's bench, and that's because the injured player is not going to return. And the coach will now have to get creative with his juggling of lines here going forward. Tries to get it over to Granlin. Passes it over to Turris. With some momentum driving towards the net with the stop. Nashville's got a hold of it along the wall. And there's the save. Here they come on the attack. Here's the pass. Denies him with the save. And it's a quick pass to Dumoulin. Picks off the pass. Nashville's done a great job without the puck. Nice pick off there. This game's close because of it. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he moves it quickly to Dumoulin. Puck picked up by Weber. And now it's over to Arvidsson. Here he is all alone. What a Stop on the play! This game is not going to spread out. This is going to be tight all the way to the end. And he makes the save. Looks to pass Whoa. it to Dumoulin. Sorry, James. That sounded big. I have to tell you, that was a large hit. The Predators have it against the wall. Pittsburgh's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Sends the pass over. Oh, misses! Tries to deliver it quickly. He just fires it wide of the net. Feeds the puck to Forsberg. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. The sense of urgency has really set in. They pulled the goalie. The extra attacker's out. Shot on net. He scores. Make that four straight. They seem stunned. Like they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. Oh, they were all over the place with the extra attacker on the ice. Finally, they cash through. Punch one in. Nashville's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. Johansson's won the draw here in the neutral zone. yarncroc has got the puck, and now he tries to get it across to Holzer. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. Play kept alive into another pressure cooker situation. Extra attacker out here with the empty net on the line with his face-off. A lot of pressure on the centerman. You need the face-off. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Johnson. Looks to get the puck over to McCann. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Penguins to the empty net. Blocked in traffic. Granlin swooping in on the attack. Move to the middle. Knocked away. 
Sets up from Gretzky's office. They tied it up! They tied it up! Well, right beside me, their bench just sprung to their feet. The guys are banging their sticks on the board. They are so happy. I think they all thought the game was gone. At this point, James, I don't think they've got anything to lose. They pull the goalie, right? You're trying to score. They chase around, and finally they get a chance, and the puck goes in the net. A critical draw here. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. And he slides it quickly to Smith. Hammers one. Stops the rocket of a shot. Denies him again. There's the horn to signal the end of the third period. We are still tied. We'll take a quick break. OT next. wrapping up in this barn. You can just feel it right now. Moment of truth for both sides. Sudden death over time. Let's get it on. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Puck grabbed by Mulkin. Up along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Mulkin. Here they are on the attack. And that goes off a player in front. Duchesne's got it into offensive territory. Looks to end it! And we are still tied! What a pressure-packed play. The goalie beats the shooter. With the blast! Beautiful glove stop on that one. Well, he's got two. You think he can get three? He's never had that in the game before. Duchesne's won it off the faceoff. Lays the body. Solid body contact. Carries it across the line. Moves it to Zucker. He wins it! He wins it! He wins it in overtime! You look at the celebration as they pour out onto the ice here. Is an OT win just a little bit different? A little sweeter. You know that it can end so quickly. Of course, in regulation time, you give up a goal, you still got time to get it back. Here, you want to take the upper hand and put this away. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.